Hey y'all, Kidney Cat, bringing you breakfast ideas for people with early stage kidney disease. I'm talking about stages one through three. If you don't know what stage kidney disease you have, talk to your nephrologist or dietitian about it. This diet um, also works well for people trying to prevent kidney disease. So making a healthy breakfast is all about balance. Half of your meal should be from fruits and or vegetables. Grains should be whole grain whenever possible, and protein should be lean animal protein or vegetarian. This way of eating is often called plant-based, and some great examples would be a vegetarian diet, a Mediterranean diet, that's a great one, a DASH diet, but really, who needs a label? We're just gonna eat more fruits and vegetables, right? To get you thinking about how to eat like this, let me lay some ideas on you. Some of the ideas I give can be your entire meal, and some of them are just meant to be part of your meal. Make your breakfast awesome with avocado. I bet you knew that I would give the example of avocado toast. There are a million avocado toast recipes on the internet. Some are fancy and they call for eggs and goat cheese or salmon on top, and some are vegetarian and simple. Go for whole wheat bread for your toast, and if the recipe mentions salt, proceed with caution. Like if it says a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, nope. Just add a few tiny granules on top, and that's plenty. Another idea would be a breakfast tortilla. Think of an egg, maybe some spinach, a mushroom, tomato, black beans, and pureed avocado. The next idea would be an avocado smoothie. You take your milk of choice, avocado, some kind of sweetener, maybe a little vanilla extract, blend it all together. So good. Terrific tomato. I bet you already knew that tomato could be for breakfast. Let's have some ideas. How about a veggie omelet? Bell pepper, onion, mushroom, spinach, low-fat mozzarella cheese. Put salsa on top of the whole thing or maybe some diced tomato inside. The next one is pretty cool. I couldn't find a great picture for it, but basically you take fresh corn, a little goat or feta cheese, and you mix that in with scrambled eggs or you cook it together and put it on top of some tomato slices. Potato and tomato hash. In a skillet, you pan fry some diced potatoes or maybe some hash brown potatoes, and you can add cherry tomatoes or tomato slices in there. Mix it all together, put on your favorite spices, and uh, ooh, so good. Powerhouse citrus. What would breakfast be without a little bit of citrus? First example, how about some lemon Greek yogurt? Plain Greek yogurt, lemon juice, and honey all mixed together. So good just that way. Or maybe you don't even want to add the honey because you're planning to add fruit or granola onto the top of it and you want that tart flavor to help cut down on the sweetness. How about trying a raspberry orange smoothie or a banana pineapple orange smoothie? Use the milk of your choice or yogurt or maybe a little bit of both to mix along with it. There are millions of different smoothie recipes online. And how about this one? Another citrus would be grapefruit. A warm grapefruit, great for winter time. You cut the grapefruit in half. You put brown sugar, cinnamon, ginger, maybe some nutmeg. You bake it in an oven. This is really refreshing. And how about some other fantastic fruits? First example would be pomegranate chia pudding. Chia seeds, when they touch water or milk, they expand and they, may, they have this great gummy texture. So what you do is you mix the chia seeds with a little milk and a little sweetener overnight, and then in the morning, top it with your pomegranate. Yes, you can buy a pomegranate, or you can just get the seeds in these little plastic cups they have at the grocery store. I love it. Thank you, Publix. Another example would be an acai smoothie bowl. Acai is easiest found in the frozen food section in a pureed mix. So you take that frozen pureed acai, you mix it with banana, you mix it with milk, and you put it in a blender, pour it in a bowl, and then you top it off with something crunchy like a little coconut flakes, nuts, or granola. Again, these smoothie bowl recipes are all over the internet and people are very creative with them. And um, 
You've probably heard of overnight oats before, and if you haven't, you've got to try it. You add your oatmeal to a little bit of milk of your choice, some sweetener. You can even put the blueberries in there overnight, or you can add them in the morning. Let's talk about protein. There's nothing wrong with getting lean animal protein. And hey, maybe even some fatty animal protein if you're doing salmon, or tuna, those fatty fish. But this whole video is about plant-based diet. So let's talk about powerful plant protein. Add a plant-based protein powder like a soy or a pea powder to your smoothie. You could also try to do something like British baked beans on top of whole wheat toast. Considering, consider adding nuts to your hot or cold cereal. Top your yogurt off with some nuts and put it with that chia pudding or that acai smoothie bowl. Another idea would be natural, no sugar added peanut butter. You didn't know that peanuts are actually a legume and, and not a real nut? I just had to throw that in. You can put it on top of bread with some fruit or some jam on top. And if you don't like peanut butter at all, try sun nut butter. That's made out of sunflower seeds. Pretty good too. Another big part of a healthy breakfast for people with early stage CKD is limiting the use of processed foods. Please check out my how to quickly read a food label video to find out if a processed food is gonna be okay for you to eat or not. And another part, of this diet is to make sure it is lower in sodium. Please check out my all about sodium video if you need information on that. When it comes to dairy, which is no doubt packed with vitamins and minerals, the jury is out on whether fat free, low fat, or full fat is the way to go. I leave that up to you. To make you feel better about things, I myself play the middle of the road. I use low fat milk, I use some almond milk, um, some soy milk sometimes. I like full fat yogurt, reduced fat cheeses. I'm all over the place. There's no extremes here. And if you like dairy or meat or egg alternatives, that's definitely cool. I just want to mention that the less processed it is, the better. Some of these products are so good for you, and some of them are franken foods. And one way to find out is read the ingredients. If the ingredient list is pretty long, well, chances are it's a franken food and you don't want it. Oh yeah, and if you're having something for breakfast that you know is not a good idea, like waffles, donuts, pancakes, bacon, fatty sausage, stuff like that, try to eat it slowly and eke out the maximum enjoyment from these foods. Try to have smaller portion sizes. Don't fill up on that kind of food. For example, instead of eating a chocolate muffin, eat half of the chocolate muffin and accompany it by something like a veggie omelet. That's a much better way. This information is for general information only. If your particular health history is complicated, maybe you have difficulty chewing or swallowing, or multiple food allergies, or maybe you have cancer, or insulin-dependent diabetes, you want to talk to your doctor or your personal dietitian before you follow any of the ideas in this video. And if you're looking for your own dietitian, find one online or in your area at www.eatright.org. That's it for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you need more videos like this in your life, please subscribe. Kitty Cat, say goodbye, and I'll see you next time.